Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 6th, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday we saw a little bit of bearish push. It started off with a little bit of bad um, Asian economic data, followed up with a little bit of European economic data that brought out a little bit of bearishness. And then during the morning, we heard from OPEC that they're going to continue the oil production cuts, possibly through the end of the year. And that sent oil prices surging overnight and placed a little bit more concern on the market as those prices moved up, adding inflationary worries certainly adding pressure to the European markets that are showing bearishness again this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, I did an e-learning last night and I will be posting this video here in just a little bit. Um, but if you were to take a look at that video, we talked an awful lot about market conditions and um, some of the internal indicators that we look at here in these videos. And as you can see here in this market, we're kind of confused right now. We have this upside trend moving in diamonds. We also have this downside trend moving in diamonds. And what we're trying to figure out is, will we find enough bullish energy here this week to hold a higher low of support and resume the upside trend? At the same time, we have those bears trying to find inspiration to decide whether or not they can push this uh, bearish resumption into a full-on uh, bearish move to the downside. So we're going to be watching that closely. Now, one of the key places here that are, is critical is that 50-day moving average. And you can see we have this accumulation of moving averages right in here, a little bit of a moving average squeeze. But unfortunately, some of the data is putting um, some additional pressure here on the market this morning. And you can see this morning we are looking to open below that 50-day moving average. Will we find the data today in the economic or earnings reports that will allow us to resume or bounce that back up? Now, looking a little bit further here, as you can see, we have a fairly good um, support level here in the chart. If you'll notice, we've got um, kind of the accumulation here of this nice little price support and this upside trend in the Dow or um, in the diamonds here trying to show us that price support. So although we've broken that 50 day moving average here um, at the open, it looks like we still have a pretty good opportunity that we can find that support and maybe hold in there and potentially see those bulls resume that upside trend and remember that would begin um, uh, or recover and resume an upside trend because we are officially in a downtrend here at the moment in the chart. So watch that carefully here on the diamonds. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, well, we've got a little bit of additional complication in here. And that is the fact that we have this potential lower high failing at the trend failure. You notice we broke that trend failure. We've rallied back up. We broke through some support levels in this chart in that recovery, which is a good sign. But can we hold those? And now you're seeing that little bit of a bearish push here to the downside. Next support level, if we break this area, would be down in here. And if the bulls can find inspiration, well, maybe we push back up and see if we can retest this area of resistance up here that's challenging us in the chart right now. If we take a look at our moving average on this one, we'll notice that we're still above our 50-day moving average. So pulling back down into this area would be just a test of that 50-day moving average. And if those bulls can hold on, well, there's our current upside trend somewhere maybe between here and here. 
and maybe we can find that support area in here and get those bulls to resume assuming the data can support that if not well we have to look at that possibility that the bears really could put in a lower high here in the market then we start looking maybe for the bears to take over in a downside trend remember um, S september august september are usually typically tough months for the market and that's not every year but they tend to be typically tough months and by golly, we're seeing a lot of challenges being pushed up um, in uh, the face of the market here, adding some additional worries. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Very similar situation here on the QQQ, but we have improved this um, a bit more because of the, you know, the, mag the so-called Magnificent Seven continue to have that ability to lift the market um, despite the majority of stocks continuing to sell off here in um, the NASDAQ. But as you can see, we broke back above that downtrend in here. So you gotta give that to the bulls. And if we take a look, we're challenged by a little bit of price resistance here in the chart. Had a little bit of bullishness in there yesterday. So if those bulls can continue to push to the upside, well then we'll see if we can break that little area of the chart popping on through that area. If the bears, however, continue to see um, inspiration here today, then we might push this back down and we can test this level of price support and maybe this trend break right in here as support. And that would be a nice little resumption of upside trend if that could occur. A failure of that support area, however, would probably raise some questions and maybe bring a little bit of fear into the market. So watch that closely if the bears find inspiration today. And then last but not least, IWM had a really rough day yesterday, reversing hard, leaving behind this candle up here that is almost a classic uh, abandoned baby pattern. The only reason it's not is we had a wick that come up here to into the bottom, but there's no true window being left behind. But you can see that we gapped up into here and we gapped down here, leaving that. That's a very bearish pattern here. So watch that closely. And um, if we would notice here, this may be the beginning of a downside uh, trend here in IWM. Watch that closely. Test of this support would be critical. If we can hold that area of support and bounce, well then maybe we start that upside uh, movement here to see if we can come back up and test these resistance levels in the chart. If the bears are able to push on through here, we could look for a test of that 200 day moving average, which is down below this support area here again. Um, not a good look here for the IWM at the moment. And you can see this constitutes a failure here at its 50 day moving average. Um, watch that closely. If we were to drop below that 200 day, I'm guessing that would bring in significant fear. If we can hold in this area, pop back up, well then we can might be able to resume that upside here in IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, I got to tell you, is a little bit convoluted here. We have dropped this VIX into an area where it shows that the market has no fear um, with the data that we've been seeing here. And a lot of it has to do, I think, with the talking heads out there just, just one after another trying to preach the market higher. Um, unfortunately, I think there's a chance that they could get caught really off guard because our data has not been good. If you remember our core CPI number, or, or uh, core PCE number came out showing an increase in uh, that overall inflation. We're also seeing those bond yields stay very, very strong. They've eased a teeny tiny bit this morning in some places, but some of those bond yields are continuing to rise to the upside, showing that there is some concern out there about what the Fed may be doing on rates. So watch that carefully here. If um, the bears were to continue to find inspiration, we would look for maybe 
breaking through some of these levels here in the chart. And if the bulls continue to see no fear in this market at all, then I would look for a press where we could come back down and maybe even break down below that area. Um, and honestly, to me, that sets up a, a bit of complacency here in the market. If we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 yesterday pulled back pretty substantially here. Um, in the chart. Now that could be a good news sign as well as a bad news sign because we pulled back so far. What it suggests is if the bears continue to push, we really don't have that much further to go here um, to reach this bullish reversal zone here in our T2122. Now, if the bulls find inspiration, we certainly have opened a pretty good upside opportunity. If we can find something in data to provide some bullishness to the upside, watch carefully for that. Remember, T2122 does not tell us the direction of the market. It just gives us the clues here when we are in oversold or overbought conditions. Um, and that can help us in how we manage our um, entries and exits and profit taking and things into trades. So when we look at this, we're just looking at what happens if the bears are inspired, what happens if the bulls are inspired here on the day. Then we take a look at our T2108 and T2108 also pulled back yesterday. This is the percentage of stocks above their 40 day moving average. And if you look in this chart, you can see that yesterday we rejected this resistance area in the chart. But the good news is we haven't broken down some of this support level in the chart just yet. 33.5% of the stocks, it's pretty tough to build a bullish case when only 33.5% percent of the stocks are holding above their 40 day moving average. But that being said, it can also be a little bit of an oversold situation if we can find some bullish um, energy in the market and that could lift us back up. So watch that carefully. What we, If you're a bull, what you don't want to see is you don't want to see us breaking down below this area. That would suggest we're coming back down here into these lows and likely to test that oversold condition in the T2122 chart. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107, got to get the right symbol. T2107, as you can see, also fell yesterday. But the good news is, is we didn't break down this um, support area in the chart. We're holding up 46% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. But you might be able to see with that line I just drew on there that that could end up uh, just below that could end up being the neckline of a head and shoulders pattern starting to show up here in T2107. So if you're a bull, you want us you want to see us hold this area and bounce higher. If we cannot and we start breaking these areas down in here, that could get a little bit um, um, put a little bit of pressure um, in the market here and maybe see that oversold condition actually come in the T21 uh, 22 chart. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T21 is the absolute market breadth and just kind of keeping in mind the absolute market breadth just shows us where that momentum um, is in the market if it can push if we have enough energy and yesterday we saw a really um, low volume market with a lack of energy and unfortunately the relief rally that we've been experiencing in here pulled back and consequently that puts a little bit of damper on this where we saw the sell wave of the market had more energy than the buy wave of the market had and well, let's watch this closely because it's possible. It's possible if the bears were to really engage here in the market, I'm not saying they will, but if the bears were to engage here and we were to see this spike back up on another bearish wave, then the bears will be um, pretty emboldened to keep pushing to the downside. 
what we want to see as the bears push here on this light volume move is we want to see the light volume continue on this bearish move if we pull back in here we don't want to see that breadth increasing on that bearish resting pattern here in the market so watch carefully for that let's take a look at our economic calendar here on the day our economic calendar has got a couple of things that we're definitely going to want to be paying attention to first off we've got mortgage applications that came in this morning already 27 year low on those mortgage applications as, as those bond yields are going back up um, cost of housing um, kind of surprised last week um, showing that moved higher so a um, little bit of pressure here on that side of things we also have international trading goods here this morning we're expecting from consensus that that international trade deficit uh, continues to grow today so a uh, little bit on the bearish news side there so watch that carefully um, we've got uh, Susan Collins that will be speaking today um, it'll be interesting to find out what she has to say about uh, future rate increases from the Fed we've got a PMI composite number um, we've got an ISM number and there's been several stories about this ISM number worries that that services number might be a little bit hot and that could put um, some additional pressure here on the uh, market here could inspire those bears to push a little bit more if that were to come in hot um, and then we later on today we've got the beige book which probably uh, won't matter much at all as we take a look into Thursday as you prepare we've got jobless claims productivity and cost natural gas petroleum status uh, some bond auctions in there of course and then the Fed balance sheet um, it might be interesting after the bell we've got several Fed speakers that may um, create some uh, volatility in the market for Friday mornings open so watch carefully for that and on Friday virtually nothing in there um, on the earnings calendar to uh, provide a whole lot of inspiration when we look to our earnings calendar today we um, have a few th um, stocks in here that certainly could be notable for today let's take a look at AEO AEO will be reporting today it looks like that gap down trying to push back up here in the pre-market so keep an eye on that um, AI the actual ticker AI C3 will be reporting today keep an eye on that one CNM CNM will be reporting we're going to hear from um, PLAB Phototronics will be um, reporting looks like a big old bearish engulfing in the pre-market here so watch that one closely um, we're going to hear from Dave and Busters today watch that one close SPWH will be on that list here today we've got PATH on that list today and VRNT will also be reporting and that's the notables for today we're really starting to run down that list here we've got another month before we can kind of be thinking about the third quarter reports and finding inspiration there or excuse me fourth quarter reports let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find those videos to be useful or helpful well you know what to do click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment remember even an emoji accounts helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that well I was a little bit long-winded here this morning so I'm going to run through a few of these things pretty quickly first off on the tech side Nvidia Nvidia um, continuing to set up in this nice little trend move and if we can hold in here there may be some upside opportunity we might break out here to some new record highs in Nvidia if we can find some support in that area Google um, also had a good day and alphabet moving up yesterday pushing on through so we're seeing uh, big tech giants continuing to push up 
despite the fact that their PE ratios are ridiculously high. But no one seems to care about that um, at the moment. So we're seeing Google trying to move up here this morning. Might want to keep an eye on some of those big tech areas. Unfortunately, there are also some of those big techs that are showing some significant weakness here like AMD. So we have a little bit on both sides here, um, challenging this resistance level to see whether or not we can push through. If that were to fail, then I would look for more potential downside here in um, AMD. Let's take a look at some of the industrials. Boy, we had kind of some ugly price patterns come in on the industrials. As you can see here in Caterpillar, push back up trying to test this um, resistance high. We are running into a possibility of a bit of a triple top. Bearish engulfing candle there yesterday. If that were to follow through to the downside, obviously this will have an impact on the the diamonds index if that sells off and we can see we're already running into some pressures here with John Deere bearish engulfing candle right here at price resistance and right at downtrend here in the chart showing that bearish engulfing and that possibility that John Deere could push on lower here in the chart watch that and we also saw a little bit of pressure adding to this lower high failure that we see here in Boeing and we're losing this little bit of support here in the chart. So we found that resistance resuming that downtrend. Watch that closely. That could add some additional pressure to the diamonds charts if you're looking for a little bit of um, some short trades. On the bullish side of things, my goodness, when it comes to um, oil, wow, there is a lot of oil stretching out here. ConocoPhillips shooting up big time yesterday, pulling back by the end of the day probably needs a little bit of rest or consolidation in here. I would look for that next opportunity though if we're going to continue on this path of higher prices here in oil. Um, CVX, CVX breaking through this um, rectangular formation in here pushing up nicely so any rest or pullback to hold that area of support maybe engage that trend out here would be um, something to look at um, exxon mobile stretching through some resistance in the chart with additional resistance above but any rest or pullback would set up possibly here for more upside in exxon mobile so keep an eye on those we also saw some um, um, energy beginning in the in, in early part of the day on some of the refiners like VLO, uh, Slumberger pushing and breaking through resistance up here. Any rest or pullback that holds that support um, would suggest more upside opportunity in that sector. Take a look at CCJ. Boy, it's something I just keep talking about over and over and over. CCJ. Um, sold off yesterday in the pre-market and just absolutely recovered um, all day long kept moving up and as you can see gapping a little bit higher this morning and pulling back in the pre-market i still think this needs a little bit of consolidation or rest but when you look at some of its uh, comrades out there in the market ura boy that thing is surging big time U U U U catching up in a big way moving to the upside uranium Uranium is looking good. I would suggest they need a rest or pullback, but watch that carefully in the chart. Um, could be kind of interesting um, in there. When it comes to retail, my goodness, we have some really um, differing charts. Um, a big mix, Dollar General just falling, um, looking terrible here, while at the same time, Walmart holding up pretty well. We've got um, JWM just on its heels here, just really tumbling down a lower high in here, continuing to fail. Looks like it may come back to these lows. Yet at the same time, we're seeing um, some of those retail stocks out there like uh, TJX um, just zooming to the upside, looking good. Kind of an interesting mix here on who's winners and losers in that sector, showing quite a little bit of concern in their defensive sector stocks, however, oh boy, they're ugly. Uh, Campbell's Soup um, looking um, particularly ugly here. Um, Colgate looking very ugly. Uh, KHC dropping, Coke and Pepsi 
looking very ugly in the market as we see some of those consumer staple stocks running into trouble showing that weakness in the consumer so be very very careful here in the market we could see a lot of gyrations back and forth and remember it's pretty difficult for the market to show a awful lot of bullishness if it's only going to be seven to ten big tacks rising to the upside those are pretty expensive stocks and they're kind of difficult for most folks to trade and right now that's kind of uh, what the market is made of so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here thank you so much for supporting the channel and i'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning wishing you all the very very best